Here you can see surveillance cameras in London, data I requested and showed on a map. Or also here you can see all the obelisk in Rome. And here, this is my hometown Hamburg and I created a website where you can see all the stairs in Hamburg. It also works fine on mobile devices. How you can this really easily done, so request all kind of data, for example also give me all hotels in a certain location and print them on a map. This you will learn today. Hey, Fabian here. Today we will take a look into Overpass. Overpass is an API from OpenStreetMap. Most people know OpenStreetMap and know it's something related to some maps and it's similar to Google Maps. But the nice thing is OpenStreetMap not only has the information about the map itself, but also a lot of metadata. And this you can query by using the Overpass API. And then you can use libraries like a map box to print this on a map. And this is what we want to take a look into today. First of all, let's take a look into what kind of features OpenStreetMap has and how you can find them. So we Google for OSM, which is just uh, OpenStreetMap map features. And the first hit is already the wiki. And we want to go there. Take some time to load because it's actually such a long page. These are all the map features available in OpenStreetMap. You can see already in the table of contents and really a lot of different information. So you can just search on this page for whatever you want. We are now interested in the steps just to see the example we had in the intro. In the first column we can see the key. The key here is highway and there are a lot of different kinds of highway and one of them is steps and we can click on steps to get further information. So we have a tag with a key, highway and a value steps. And below here, for example, we see what kind of information such a tag can have. For example, the step count. Again, we can take a look into it. It's actually how many steps there are. And if we go back and one more time, we can also find the other information we showed in the intro, for instance, the uh, obelisk. So the obelisk, for example, is a man-made object. So the key is man-made and then it's obelisk. And so you just have to go to this page and you find here everything you need. You can click on it to get more details and so on. But you have to keep in mind for now, there's a key and a certain value. This is what we need to query Overpass. If we search for Overpass API, we find, first of all, again, the OpenStreetMap wiki. So you can go there to check out all the information about the API. But we now want to go to the UI and one existing UI for the Overpass API is the so-called Overpass Turbo. So we can go there. And what we can do here, we can enter queries on the left page and see the results on the right. Let's use the wizard and search for highway equals steps. This is the tag we saw before with the value and the key. And if we run the query, we can see on the right side all the results. We can also click on one to see the information about this certain step or for example also here for instance this one has seven steps now this search currently in the box the box means the, the view we have opened on the right page now let's find all these steps in hamburg first of all we go to hamburg in germany and next we adjust our query we want to search here for the geocode area Hamburg and name it search area and below first of all we are interested for now just in ways instead of limiting our search to the current box we can enter here now the area of our search area and if we run this query we see all the stairs in Hamburg it's actually quite a lot and we cannot only see the map, 
we can also see the raw data here. Of course, we can also use the API directly. Therefore, we go to export and then we copy the standalone query. Next, let's go to Postman. And here you can already see the endpoint. And it's a post request with a body. And the body has some kind of data. And the data is the query. So we can just press here, paste. And this is now the query and we can send it. One difference here, as you might notice, is the area. It's an ID because this is a feature of Overpass Turbo. It resolves the name Hamburg to the ID. Here we are talking directly to the API. So here instead the ID is used. And here we can see the results. So these are now all the data. The format here is the default format from OpenStreetMap. I can also recommend to just use Overpass Turbo directly because it has another nice features. Here you can export the data into different formats, especially GeoJSON. And GeoJSON is the default standard, so all the plugins and JavaScript support that. For instance, Mapbox, but also Google Maps and so on. So let's just copy the data. Now we head over to VS Code here. I won't explain the code into too much detail, but instead link the repository. In the JavaScript file down here, I already pasted the data. We just copied. And for the sake of demonstration, we keep it really simple. So I just assign this one to a variable called stepsamburg. And in the really end, we of course also have to put a semicolon so we can use this actually as a JavaScript and not JSON file. Now let's head over to the index HTML. We are using here mapbox.gl.js as a maps library. Of course, you can also use Google Maps or Leaflet and others. I choose mapbox because the benefit here, I want to draw really a lot of points now. And I also tried with Leaflet, but with Mapbox, because it works with GL, so the graphics library, quite well in the browser. So I had issues when I painted now all the steps we saw here before. And rendered this on a mobile device actually was quite slow. So I switched it to Mapbox. Now to show it in a map, we need some diff element called map and give it some kind of size. And then we can already start with our script. For Mapbox, you need an access key and you get this one on the side once you re register it. And you can configure your map. Here we just set the center and having a dark uh, style so it just looks cool. <laughs> and then we can add different kind of control elements. And this is what I also like on Mapbox. This works quite easy out of the, the box to get all the control elements with the benefit it also works really well on mobile device. The control elements you can see here are the zoom in, zoom out, then the location button and also here to display the scale. In Mapbox you can react on certain events. So once the map is loaded, we can add a new source. And here we just use our variable and it comes from the file we saw before. So here we add the file and in the file we have the variable called steps handbook and then we just have to define the type. Once we have that, we also have to add a layer and the layer now refers to a certain source. You can see here it's called steps and that's called steps as well and define how the style should look like of this layer. And this is already all to draw all the dots on the map. So it's really easy. Just paste your data into a file and then you can load it. Here below, what happens on top of it, we have some pop-up. Uh, so when we go back to the map, we can not only see here the lines, we can actually also click them and see all information which were available. For example, again, our step count. If we have a click event on our steps, then we render here some pop-up with all the information we have and also display the correct license for the data. Also keep in mind the data is under some license. 
And here it's just about how the cursor looks like. And that's already all you need. And now it's your turn. Think about what kind of data you might be interested in. Try to query it and maybe you can even build a cool product which helps you and also your community. If you liked the video, consider subscribing because my current goal is to reach 10 subscribers. All information can be found in the description and of course if you have any questions just put them in the comments below.